In November 2013, a super typhoon named Yolanda hit the Philippines and destroyed and killed a lot of people. It was one of the largest and strongest typhoons that was ever been recorded. This typhoon damaged 1.1 million houses, destroyed 33 million coconut trees, a major source of livelihood, and disrupted the livelihood of 5.9 workers in the country. Because of this tragedy, a lot of Filipino left to find a new job abroad. For them, it was really such a hard time. One of them was Joanna Dimathelis, an overseas Filipino worker who sacrificed and left her family. For the desire to give her family a prosperous life, she decided to go in Kuwait despite of all the rumors that a lot of Filipinos there are being maltreated. She was only able to finish high school because of lack of financial support. As she went to Kuwait, she was hoping that she could at least make her siblings go to college. In 2013, she finally took the flight to Kuwait and worked as a domestic helper to a couple named Nadir Sam Al-Saf and his Syrian wife, Mona Hassoun. While working there, she met a Filipino maid who was working too as a domestic helper, but in a different building just beside the flat where she's staying. According to this maid, she and Joanna used to talk with each other through a window. When she asked Joanna about her situation, Joanna admitted to her that her boss were hurting her and even delaying her salary. When she told Joanna to laugh instead, she answered that the couple might get angry so she stayed. She even told Joanna to go to the Philippine Embassy but Joanna insisted. Joanna was last seen by this maid alive last September 2016. This maid got really curious and why Joanna stopped showing and never even bothered to say goodbye if she was about to leave. On 6th of November 2016, the couple reported her missing, saying that she escaped and ran. Soon after, they left the country and headed to Syria. They told the caretaker not to open the flat because there were personal belongings inside. They just opened the flat through a court order because SF has a lot of bouncing checks cases. As they opened the flat, they found a body of a woman inside a freezer. An autopsy revealed that she's been tortured and strangled, not once but for several times before her death. It has been revealed that her body was in the freezer for at least a year. It has been determined that she died due to an excessive beatings. The daily abuse she received led to multiple bruises and injuries on her body, but the last ones caused internal bleeding. Some of her ribs were broken and she received a lot of trauma on her hips, leading to injuries on her kidneys. Joanna would have been 20 years old though officials said she had been killed more than a year earlier. Some say that she was actually unconscious when they put her in the freezer. After knowing about what happened, her family cried with rage and grief. In February 2018, the couple was arrested in Syria and were sentenced to death by hanging as a punishment. Until now, a lot of overseas workers abroad are suffering abuse. We hope that this thing will end.